Beecher hasn't been out of his cell for two solid days. He just lies in his bunk, sobbing like a wuss. <laughs> Good. That's what's truly elegant about this plan of mine. We don't physically touch Beecher, and yet the damage done is far more hideous. Time to put parts three and four into motion. Hank. Yeah. I want you to drop off the other package. Right. Where we talked about. Right. You should stop smoking, Father. I know, I know. It's bad for my health. There's a law about smoking in public places, in state-owned buildings. Is this bothering you? Yes! Hello, Tobias. Thank you, officer. Wait outside, please. Take a seat, Toby. I know what this is about, Dad. The FBI found Gary? Yes. Gary's body. He's dead. Yes. I knew. I knew when I heard about the hand. And Holly? Any news? No, no, not yet. I'd like to go to Gary's funeral. We've already made arrangements. I want him buried right next to his mother. I want to see the graves I've dug lined up one next to the other. No, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Funny, I can't cry. I don't have any more tears left. because I didn't want to know the answer. I know you were married all those times, and I'm wondering if I was the first, you know, the first man. <laughs> well, I guess that answers my question. No, no, it doesn't. I just uh, think it's an odd conversation for us to be having right before you go to your son's funeral. The FBI says you're responsible for a series of homosexual murders. The FBI? I'm not asking you to tell me if you committed the murders. I'm asking you if you've ever felt this way with another man. No. I have not felt this way. I swear to Toby. You're lying. Toby, I'm lying. You're lying. Sweet dreams, baby. 